Laura Logan is now banned from Newsmax. Before we get into what she did to get banned, let's talk a little bit about her history to catch people up that don't know. She was a correspondent for CBS News between 2002 and 2018. She was involved in the 60 Minutes episode about the Benghazi attack, which the executive producer called the worst mistake on my 10 year watch due to it being factually incorrect and politically slanted. She joined Sinclair Broadcast Group in 2019, a conservative media company. And in 2020, she became a host on Fox Nation. She was on Fox Nation. And then in March of this year, she got dumped by Fox. So now she's doing interviews on Newsmax. It's quite a fall from grace already, but it gets worse. So this is what Newsmax had to say after her statements, and then we'll get into what she said. Newsmax condemns in the strongest terms the reprehensible statements made by Laura Logan. And her views do not reflect our network. We have no plans to interview her again. Now, what did she say? Well, she went on a whole bunch of rants about immigrants and talking about how immigrants are coming in to be more Democrat voters. Your standard racist drivel. But let me read a quote here. Because I spoke to a man who was actually holding the documents in his hand. He told me it, right? He said he infiltrated the global cabal at the UN level, right? And one of the things that he was able to tell me about from his personal experience, what he witnessed himself with these documents that shows the time there was a plan, and this was several years ago. It's about a plan of re great replacement theory racist nonsense. She continues talking about the plan. The plan was to infiltrate 100 million illegal immigrants. And at that point, there were already 40 million. And these people would dilute what they called the pool of patriots. Their words, right? And they would not be taught that America is a great country and trained to sing the national anthem with pride. And so on and so on. They will be taught all the negative things that we're told about the U.S. today that our own children are taught. And then, continuing on, you know, she goes and rants more and talks about who might be behind this. And they may think they're going to become gods. That's what they tell us. You know, at Harari and all the rest of them at the World Economic Forum. You know, the ones who want us eating insects, cockroaches, and that while they dine on the blood of children. These are the people, right? They're not gonna win. These are actual quotes from this woman. Now, you might think this is insane. How did she get on here if she said all this crazy stuff? She'd already previously shared an article claiming that Jewish people were behind a one world government and that people came to the United States in the 1700s to escape the Rothschilds. Yes, that is the level of crazy this woman was giving out. And Newsmax still put her on. She still got through that segment, but now she's banned. So I guess her only job left would maybe be working for Kanye West. 